Hi everyone, I'm Jan and um, I'm in Gibraltar and today I want to tell you guys uh, I'm going to take part in Mrs. Gibraltar 2022 pageant. I um, decided to take part in this because I see it as a great opportunity for me to meet new people, to learn about life in Gibraltar, its people and uh, community of course and I really hope I'm going to make uh, a lot of friends. So um, I have to say that of course in such a difficult time uh, it's really hard because uh, all my thoughts, of course, and my heart with uh, people uh, in Ukraine and all over the world who is suffering and I wish only peace all over the world and no more wars, guys, you know that. And uh, yes, it's very hard. But um, I took, um, uh, I signed up for this uh, competition actually a few weeks ago and um, before even all of this situation started and um, for uh, this few weeks while um, this is all was happening i was actually thinking to withdraw from the competition because it's it's very hard honestly it's very hard and uh, you saw i didn't have any videos and uh, i started to feel really bad again you know that we had two years of covid we were isolated and uh, didn't go anywhere i pretty much was staying home and um, staying with my parents you know taking care and i uh, couldn't go and talk to other people meet new people so and uh, i didn't feel well as you know i had problems with my stomach i still have the problem it's a bit better but i still i uh, didn't recover yet and um, now i'm starting to feel again bad having headaches which i never had before pretty much every single day my eyes are really hurt and um, i thought I have to do anything because uh, it's it's really hard you know you really need to think about uh, continue to live and uh, to look after yourself and be healthy it's very important so and i have really good support from uh, people around me and uh, the organizers are very supportive thank you so much and so i decided to continue in this competition guys and i really hope that uh, who is watching me you will be supporting me in this um, process and this competition as i'm saying my main my main aim here is of course is to learn about life in gibraltar and uh, meet people new people and uh, communicate and uh, so i am uh, going to share with you of course my dear friends what uh, we will be doing all this time and uh, there will be a final big show in summer and uh, before that we're going to meet and uh, do different activities here uh, in Gibraltar so I have um, we already had two meetings and uh, the first uh, day was uh, sign up when I came and there were another three beautiful girls and uh, we signed the papers we took some pictures and uh, you can actually see the videos and photographs uh, at um, the official site and uh, you can find all the links in the description under my video uh, there is also the facebook page and uh, instagram and you can check uh, all uh, my videos that i will be showing you and uh, on the site of the organizers uh, how it's all going to look because it's all will be made um, like i can't really make videos uh, while we are doing something out there but of course they will be making videos and taking pictures so you can see the insights of it and i will be telling you all the other things like before and after um, what what we were doing and how it felt what uh, was happening out there so that's why you really need to watch both sides if you watch my uh see what is going on, on my channel on instagram and also on the uh, channel of the organizers okay so i will be keeping you um, informed what is going on and uh, so that was the first day i met um, uh, mrs uh, gibraltar to... so guys so i want to uh, meet mrs gibraltar uh, 2018 18, 2018 and uh, also went to mrs that's right okay so look guys this is so cool so beautiful uh, catherine is and uh, can you tell us that was an absolutely amazing experience. You never think you're going to live this kind of thing in your life, you know? So it's a dream come true, especially growing up in a small place, always looking up to people that win these contests. So you never think, is it going to happen to me? And it did. You know? So it was 
was my first time I traveled the road on my own as well. Oh, was it? Oh, wow. So it was a it was really cool and it was very good. Very good. And it was then I gained true independence to travel on my own. Oh, so cool. What would you say to, to us who are also taking part in this? What would be your role? So, um, to literally take every day at a time, and learn everything as you go along, meet new people, open up to the people, and gain as much experience and friendships and emotions. Right, thank you so much. And you what would you say, like, what should you do not to be nervous? Not to be nervous. nervous. This now, yes. <laughs> Well, I tried everything and nothing worked. So, no. good luck. <laughs> Just be yourself, right? <laughs> Just be yourself. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, guys. Uh, so now I would like you to meet another beautiful lady, uh, Mrs. Gibraltar. What was it here? I was second princess here in Mrs. Gibraltar in 2017. 2017. And also you won Mrs. Europa. Yeah. And I won Mrs. Europe 2017 in the Vosibus. Wow, this is, is this is so cool. And um, so, how do you like? How did you like the, the experience? Wow, it was gobsmacking. It was a culture shock compared to what we're used to here in Gibraltar. But hey, it was an amazing experience. Wow, that's that's really cool. So, how do you feel about becoming Mrs. Europa? It's uh, like. What, what feelings was, did you have? It's, cool. it's a feeling that you can't put into words, if it makes sense, just because it was so overwhelming. You go with a humble heart and come back to your country with a European title. Yeah, this is a, this is just incredible, incredible experience. And also, what would you suggest, like how to uh, conquer the nerves? And uh, what would you give the advice? The nerves. <laughs> The nerves are always a good thing, it keeps you on your toes, it keeps you with that adrenaline that just makes you be yourself, so you, you just have to embrace those nerves. I've always recommended that they are a good thing to have. Right. Okay, thank you so much, it was so nice to meet you and I'll You're see welcome. you again on the, this competition. Yep. Okay. We're nice to meet Grace and she is Mrs. Gibraltar 2019. And uh, hi, hello. And I would like to ask you, please, um, what is what was your most memorable uh, experience or what most memorable thing which you did uh, during taking the part in this page? Well, there was so many, so many things happening. Um, we did a lot of charity events. Uh, I think um, it really opened my eyes to see how many local charities. Um, that I didn't know about. So I managed I managed to find all these charities that I can still help out now. As well, one of the most memorable things, we went to um, El Roli, which is like an area in Gibraltar. Um, it's like a port, not a port, but um, it's like a, an area where people go fishing. And oh. we did some scuba diving. Oh, did you? No, not scuba diving, snorkeling. Snorkeling, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, and that, that was quite memorable for me. Oh, and as well, we went on some speedboats. Um, oh, nice. that was yeah. That was yeah, so that, that was the cast. That was cool. Yeah. That right. Was really cool. Okay. Thank you so but, much. Yeah. A, yeah. a lot of you know we had a lot of a lot of things which were very really exciting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, I know also that you took part in uh, Mrs. World yes. 2019. Yes. Can you tell a little bit about that experience? Yes. That was in Las Vegas. It was one of the best experiences of my life. I loved it. Uh, I met so many friends. Uh, a lot of people they think beauty pageants is a lot of competition like yeah. the girls can be a bit you know it, everyone was so nice like everyone helped each other out we were all friends it was so amazing I, I, I would do it again and again I loved that experience all right well okay thank you so much and what would you like to wish to the girls uh, like um, how to not to be scared you know because we are all nervous and you know the nurse how would you say how to um, try not to be <laughs> to pretend that the people aren't there and just like it's, it's like acting, so you know you just have to put your best performance. Because that, that at the end of the day is gonna be what gets you. Gets just you pretty much yourself. Yourself. <laughs> yeah. yourself. But at the same time, if you, I don't know, you had a bad day or whatever, just put on a smile and just this is a new role. This is what you're doing, and you know, just, 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 just do it. Just do it. Right. Okay. Well, thank you so so much, and uh, I will see you later. Yes. Right? Yes. See thank you. you. Bye. And uh, the second day, we came to choose the numbers. Uh, so that day, I met all the girls. It is uh, 11 of us, beautiful ladies, and uh, all the pretty, pretty beautiful dresses. And um, we were all picking up the numbers. And uh, I 
I uh, had no choice, <laughs> I have to say. I didn't choose my number because I was the last one to go and uh, collect the number I had left. So, and I'm going to show you. So that was in uh, these little bags. Okay, so we had to open uh, the, uh, the letter and uh, reading that I am choosing, I am going to be contestant uh, number eight. So that's my uh, number. Um, I like this number actually, you know, it's, uh, it means uh, forever, forever. And uh, so it's, it's a good number. I really like it. Uh, so my favorite number is actually number five, but I, number eight is also nice. You know, I know it's uh, in Chinese traditions, it's a lucky number. <laughs> so thank you for, for this number. Whatever I got, I would, uh, would be all right with any number. So yeah, but now you know, guys, I'm number eight. Okay, so if you would like to support me, you, you know how to find me. Uh, under what number so yeah we did it's quite actually feeling quite nervous I know even though I have um, uh, been making videos for a while but you do know that uh, there's quite a lot of people around and when they turn the camera on it uh, gets a little bit nervous quite nervous but it's very uh, exciting also at the same time it's very exciting it actually takes your mind off of everything and then you feel so good to be around to be surrounded by really nice and friendly people so it's it's really good great feeling so um, I have to say the this is one of the actually sponsors I want to show you it's uh, called uh, Mayfair on May and uh, so they uh, gave us this little also a little sample it's a, I think it's a shampoo and a conditioner. So thank you so much. I'm gonna try it. It's it's um, headdresses and uh, here you go. It's a little bit of uh, where you can find them. I know they're doing uh, hair headdresses. I've never tried them actually, but uh, yeah, maybe it's time I'll try. So yeah, okay. And um, that's the the one uh, little bag, goodie bag. And then we had another present from another, another our sponsor which is Star of India which is um, a perfume and cosmetic shop also on the main street okay so I have uh, been there before and uh, buying some uh, perfumes out there so and uh, they have uh, got for us this uh, this goodie bag with some uh, samples of the creams uh, the toilet water, the lipstick, and I think these are the samples also of some um, perfumes. Okay, so I would like, I want to open it a little bit just to show it to you guys a little bit close, and I want to smell to, to see how, how it smells. Is it nice? Or not? <laughs> I must say that. Yeah, I'm always honest with you guys, you know me, and uh, I share with you. Everything I try and can to share with you what's happening, going on in the water, parts of what was happening in my life. So, and uh, yeah, let's uh, see if you'll uh, glued <laughs> stuck to this. Okay, just a little bit. So, here is, um, yeah, I think this one is, it smells like, it smells nice. Okay, yeah, that's the one. Okay. Um, so we have some Sisley Paris. Well, I'm not going to try them like this. Don't smell them like that. Also smells nice. And uh, another one we have Gabriel Chanel. Yes, uh, Chanel is one of my favorite actually. And uh, it's also it also smells nice. <sighs> yeah. So and uh, this one is uh, Angel Schlesser. Spirit de Gingerbread. I actually have never heard of this one to be honest, but that's why it would be uh, quite nice and interesting to try it. Let's smell this. It's kind of, it smells nice, quite light. I say, yeah, I think it's, it's very nice and light and uh, would be good to use it during the day. Yeah, okay, so. Um, Okay, and uh, you probably, if the ladies are watching, I know it's not uh, interesting for guys, but for the ladies, I want to, to see what the lipstick is. Okay. Okay, we have Rouge Dior, and uh, the color is Mate, Mate Metal. Oh, wow. 
okay it's a really nice color it actually matches my nails <laughs> okay so yeah dior so so you can see guys so next time i'm gonna try it so it's made it's not gonna have a gloss on it so it's gonna be made so and uh yeah next time we'll match my lips uh, my uh, nails <laughs> so that's the we got the presents thank you so much for all of this uh, presents to thank you for the sponsors for to organizers of course and uh so the next what we have to do guys uh, is actually to find sponsors ourselves that every every lady has to uh, bring a sponsor uh for to this competition so that's pretty much it at this moment um that's uh, all the news. The next uh, time uh, we're going to meet, I'm uh, not sure what we're going to do, to be honest. So we will see. It's going to be interesting, I think. And uh, of course, I will um, make a video afterwards and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about it. Okay, guys. So um, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Um, like I'm saying, guys, once again, I am uh, wishing uh, very much with my heart i really hope that uh, the situation in ukraine will uh, uh, be solved very soon i i pray every day you know me is like i'm saying is i always been asking for peace all the time who watches me for a long time you know that for every new year asking the main thing is always no more wars everywhere in the world i want peace i only want peace and i want to see happy people happy faces enjoying their lives and having the homes and food and never know what uh, how to be hungry um, not having a place to live uh, yes i have I've, I've been through some people might say you don't even know what it is but i do know believe me i have i know what it means when you don't have enough food when you have to stand in queues and uh, i know when uh, the situations are critical yes because i'm in quite an age i know you lots of young people don't understand a lot of things accusing each other i uh, see it's very sad to see all of this but um a bit in the older generation i've seen a lot of things in my life so i that's why i always am saying i'm always for peace no matter what i believe in 21st century we have to know and have to try and do everything work together side by side to to change this world to walk listen to hear each other and uh, fix any problems conflicts without taking the guns so we have to do it civilized way without uh, wars and uh, fighting so people continue to suffer people already suffering have been suffering if all the wars are continue but we have to do something about it we have to do but we have to change ourselves of course we have to change our mind we have to change in our hearts we have to teach our children how to grow and teach them the right way and um, and then we can change this world and i really hope always for the best guys for the best for all of us throughout the world for every single person uh inhabitant uh, living on our planet to save our planet save ourselves save our lives and preserve and care for each other so um once again guys thank you for watching me uh thank you for all of your support because a lot of you are asking me about me how i am and uh, everything is fine thank you so much i feel your love and support and uh once again peace peace throughout the world and i see you in my next video bye everyone